Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Notion with Jira. First of all, we need to create ourselves an account at Notion.com and uh, yeah, let's make this integration happen. Once we, uh, when, one, once we have our, uh, our account finished and all ready uh, and set, we want to go to automate.io. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description under this video. Uh, once we are here, we want to go and hover over integration, which is on the upper side of your screen. Uh, and this pop-up window will show up. Uh, we want to go to the bottom left of this, uh, of this window uh, to see all categories. Uh, we want to use this search engine and we want to go for Notion. Now, once we find Notion, we click on the Notion. As you can see, it's all connected. Now we need the second app. In our case, it's Jira. Let's go with Jira. And as you can see, automate.io already made for, uh, made for us some popular integrations. So we can pick from those and we just go and straight try it now. Or we can scroll down and we can create our own integration. On the left side, where the trigger is, we want to start with Notion. So let's go with the first one, new database item. And as an action, we want to go and use uh, Jira ones. So this uh, with a Jira icon on the right side. And let's go with the add issue. Uh, what do we have to do now? We just have to go and try it now. Uh, we'll get redirected. We have to log in and just basically finish our integration. And basically that's it. Now, the second option is uh, Zapier.com. Zapier.com is also a very useful integration app. Uh, and we also have to create an account here. Uh, once we do that, we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a zap. Once we are here, we want to click uh, on top and we, we can name our zap. So let's go with Notion to Jira, for example, and we press enter. Now it's the same uh, principle, like uh, it's at uh, automate. So Let's go with uh, Notion first in this action window. We click Notion. Uh, there's only one option as a trigger event and that's new database item. We click continue. Now uh, we have to log in with the account that we already created. Continue. And uh, when you are familiar with the Notion, you basically have a couple of database items in here, but I don't have any. I just created the Notion account to show you uh, how to make this integration work but if you are working in notion there will be a couple of options in here so we can jump straight to the second option the second option is yet again jira you can pick from all of those software cloud server let's go with cloud uh, update issue as an action event next and the last thing is uh, you just have to sign into jira and that's about it so thanks for watching and see you on the next video.